Hey folks, for the Sumpati from Siji Virus here. Today we're going to see how to work with our new note, uh, match grain note uh, in, for Blender Compositor. Uh, with this note, what we can do is basically we can uh, uh, extract the noise or grain from our plate and uh, we can, uh, you know, overlay it in our CG elements or still images. So let's see and let's get it started. Before going further, this tutorial is all about noise. That means, you know, YouTube can hiccup with the uh, buffer. So if you want to see it clearly, you should um, check the 1080p and uh, wait to buffer in YouTube. Then see it because noise needs lots of bandwidth. So let's get it started. All right, well, we can download it from here. The link will be in the description. Just go here and download the zip and uh, here we go all right i have already downloaded it so after downloading it let's go to our desktop here and uh, let's extract it here okay and uh, you will find all the add-ons uh, i mean all the notes uh, here so we can use these extra all notes uh, here or we can use these match green note here so let's go to append press f4 append and uh, let's go to desktop and uh, let's go here and here compositor all notes and uh, in the note tree you will find match green noise so let's append it here so now let's see the project setup first so what we're doing here is basically we have a footage okay so it's something like that and uh, what we're doing is basically in movie clip editor we are just using a plane track deform uh, for a planet track and then we are compositing it in our here gravity uh, we're using a gravity node here and uh, we are scaling it a little bit okay so 2.5 and planet track deform coming from the video then we're doing some rgb curving here to i know adjust it a little bit okay rgb curve and then we're doing some blur simple blur operation to match the reference and there is some feather going on with dialect and erot and then we're mixing it with our backplate okay with a backplate it is like that there we go then we're doing some color correction simple color correction and uh we're using our vlc our vlc pipeline so if you want to know about it uh, the link will be in the description as well it's a plugin uh, by which you can create your VSC pipeline with compositor and uh, show your preview in VSC. Anyway, so now uh, let's talk about the thing, uh, why we need it and everything. All right, so uh, let's talk about why. So let's go to the preview cache and uh, let's cache it. And here we go. So uh, if we go closer, you will see that it has lots of grain. Okay, it's a low light condition. Uh, our camera is not that good so we get this kind of footage uh, sometimes you know Ari uh, red I have found a lot of footage like this as well so you know so um, in any way and now our director says that uh, I need this kind of grain uh, don't denoise it don't degrain it and uh, use it for your VFX so what should we do then we need to match it we need to match our grain and uh, you can see that our graphic or whatever CG uh, is not actually matching with the grain. So we need to match it. We need to match our grain. And that's why this node exists. All right. So uh, we have already appended our match grain. No. Okay. Let's append it. Before append and uh, match grain noise. There we go. Now let's search for it. Match grain noise. So this will be our note. 
so let's talk about the workflow first let's see okay <coughs> what we need is basically we need our backplate so this is the backplate we have here we go simple backplate and uh, what we need is basically uh, you can see it's a frame uh, 450 frame uh, long backplate right but we don't need that kind of long thing uh, what we should do here is basically we should uh, take something like a 40 frames or something so let's go for 40 frames or 50 frames if you want to 50 frames and then check cyclic what it will do it will actually loop through uh, infinitely okay so let's clear the cache yeah it will uh, loop through infinitely in your uh, timeline right so that's what we need so uh, now uh, we need a pattern so let's first grab a crop node here yeah. we'll need this let's connect it to here uh, unfortunately crop node is a bit finicky in bladder so what we need to do is basically control space and go for backdrop here okay press alt and uh, mouse scroll to get it here okay so for crop node what we need to do is basically uh, select this this video and then select this crop okay now increase the left you can see there is a uh, thing going on and increase the up now you get the crop gizmo here increase the lift and increase the increase the up then you will get this cross gizmo now <coughs> what we really need here is basically a pattern okay so uh, for the pattern what we should consider is basically non-occluded pattern like these flat these these flat zone okay or this flat zone or maybe uh, this flat zone something like that okay don't use it like this or this or this this will not work okay you will need a flat zone here so probably um, somewhere here is a very good zone here okay and uh, let's do it like this yeah something like that so this will be our pattern okay now what I'm going to do is basically crop image size and now if I go here you can see your crop image okay done so let's turn off backdrop and uh, let's start working so now what we need to do is basically connect it to the crop noise and press ctrl shift to see your noise pattern okay so here is your noise so if you want to adjust it a little bit you can adjust it with the crop noise as well okay simple up and down and uh, you know create your noise pattern something like that it will do okay and uh, now let's see the thing okay now let's go to this guy and where it is belong uh, you can see that this is the mix note where we have come from so we did all the RGB curves and blur and everything now we just need to overlay some uh, noise here right so here we're going to create a shift mix and uh, it should be at top so let's select this and uh, there we go okay now it's looking weird just go to screen and uh, the noise will be there okay so if you if you want to mix the noise you can mix it as well first let's see the parameters uh, it has only one parameter that is noise amount if you increase it it will increase the noise if you go for beyond uh, beyond two you can do it like that as well no problem so standard is pretty much one there we go so it's looking good now uh, I think it's a bit more noisy so we can just factor it up factor it down a little bit you know to check a thing yeah something like that will work so you can see that this is without noise and this is with noise it helps to integrate your stuff right so let's go for 0.5 or something you know yeah 
it's looking good because it's in front so yeah okay so here we go so now let's see a preview okay so here's the preview let's cache it there we go okay let's zoom it so this is the noise and uh, if we want to compare we can see it here this is the noiseless okay this is the noiseless and this is the this is with noise okay you can see noiseless noise okay so that's how it works all right so that's it by the way if you need to change the noise uh, suppose you don't like that noise what you can do is basically go here go to backdrop and uh, you know select it again so control shift image crop image select the crop image uncheck these crop image size and then resample it somewhere here okay then I'll again crop image and you can see your stuff here okay or what you can do is basically uncheck the crop image here and uh, select somewhere here and then crop image it here okay it will do as well so the flexibility is there all right all right to see how to make this note from scratch you can uh, go to our buy me a coffee page and uh, purchase it from there basically uh, we are trying to minimize the R&D cost here a little bit so it will help uh, the node is always free and uh, the node will always be free so you can download it from github as well so here we go okay thanks and uh, i'm vadasam putik from cg virus and we're going to send us time bye bye